Significant news out today for nearly 3,000 Morehouse, Morehouse men learning they are getting a clean slate as a National Union for Debtors has now teamed up with the college to cancel $10 million worth of student debt. Teresa Bowles explains how you can find out if your debt could be wiped out as well. The union has started sending letters telling graduates that their balance is zero, no strings attached. It started with the problem. Student debt crisis, I think we're all aware at how significant it is, how disproportionately it harms black student borrowers. Morehouse political science professor Andrew Douglas says that problem sparked an idea. Well, after Robert Smith paid off debt of the entire graduating class in 2019. That led me to think that Morehouse needed to develop some curriculum around debt and democracy. That idea eventually led to a solution. Douglas worked with the union called the Debt Collective for Class for two and a half years. And when they were done, they had a plan to cancel nearly $10 million worth of student debt. It gives you a little bit more cushion. I now have the additional funds to be able to afford a home. Jarrell Billups was one of the lucky 2,800. He no longer owes Morehouse more than $15,000 when he got the call, he couldn't believe it. I actually was getting ready to hang up the phone. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Have a great day. And then he was like, no, no, just hold on. And it comes just in time as the pause on student loan debt was lifted this month. In the wake of COVID, graduates are experiencing financial hardships, and now they have to pay back debt for the first time in more than three years. While Billups still has federal student loan debt, he says this certainly helps. You hit the workforce and now you're inundated with and an amount of debt that would equal, you know, another mortgage. Not only does it stop you from being able to continue your education, but it affects your credit. Through the Rolling Jubilee Fund, Morehouse College sold the debt to debt collectors for pennies on the dollar. Then the union got rid of it. There's no paperwork involved. If you graduated fall 2022 or before, you could be like Phillips. Some of the eligible accounts go as far back as the 90s. Douglas says he wants to help as many students as he can. I hope we can do it again at other schools. I hope the federal government provides more relief so that we don't have to depend on private philanthropy. In Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.